Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to Alien Isolation, the next big thing in survival horror games, supposedly. So um, with this game, it's all about being hidden from the alien. The alien is very unpredictable, there's no um, AI patterns in it. And that's got a lot of critics um, saying that the game's not good because of that, because it's too difficult and the alien is unpredictable. But that, to me, that is a unique selling point because... Um, I always enjoy a challenge and, and hard games, and also, I say the unpredictability of the uh, AI making it think on its own without having any pathing. That's a good thing, right? I, I think it's a good thing. So, we're going to go check this out. So, with this game as well, I've got the PlayStation camera plug plugged in, and it has head tracking, so if I go like this with my head, like in real life, the camera will move around corners, so I'm going to test that out. See if, it, if it's a bit flimsy and crap and doesn't work that well, I'll turn it off, but we'll test that out for the first couple of videos, and then... Um, also, we've got this other option here, noise detection. So because it is a stealth game and you're going to hide from the alien, like sometimes you'll be hiding in a locker or something like that. So um, the microphone on the camera, the camera's over here, um, if I make a noise, it'll pick up the microphone and pick it up and the alien will be detected towards me. That, make it make, that might make it extremely hard because <laughs> I might forget about it and start talking loud. But we're going to test it out again, so like I said with the previous um, movement detection. So let's see how that goes. And also we've got our difficulty to choose... So we've got easy, medium and hard. See with this one here, hard. The recommended way to experience the game, challenging and terrifying. I've read some reviews and they say, do not do this because it makes the game too hard. But I like hard. <laughs> I like to play on the hardest difficulty. So we're going to jump onto hard. And if it is too much, I don't think it will be. I can't imagine them making it impossible. You know, it'll be, we'll still be able to play it. So we're going to go with hard. So here we go. We're going to jump into the game right now. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know facility. what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? 
I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrents if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. The frame rate's a bit blocky there. I don't know why. Weird. Maybe it's just cutscenes that are like that. So we're using a left stick to walk. Let's just see the frame rate's like a little bit. It's not super smooth, but it seems okay. The sensitivity's a bit high. So we're gonna sign in. Is that what we need to do? Yep. Okay, objective updated. So we've signed in, now we need to explore the torrents. So of course there's no aliens just yet, the attack hasn't started. Get dressed. Is there a map anywhere? Oh, there we go. So we're getting dressed on that marker. Of, of course, as well, there's also um, the grain effect, as you guys can probably see it. It's like very, looks like an oldish like film recording. That's um, an effect you can turn on in the game. It's actually turned up to max at the moment. If it's a bit much, I'll turn it down. So this is where we get dressed, right? Oh no, what was that? That's just the TV. That's just the roster of who's where and who's signed in. So this is get dressed. So we've completed an objective, we're dressed. Okay, so I've seen these as well. These are save game points. Apparently, I don't know if it's just only on hard difficulty. Um, yes. But if you die, these are the only checkpoints you come to. So if you want to you get to them, and use them whenever you see them. Of course, we don't really need to worry about it too much now. What's this? This is just, um, what, it's like emails or something. It's very retro looking. I don't really need to look at any of that just yet. We're gonna go and carry on the objective. So the objective right here is to do what? Just are we still exploring? There's no objective on the map, so we're just gonna get out. We're dressed, let's go back out. Let's try and meet up with our crew. See what the next plan is. Next step is. There's a lot of places to go. Actually, wait there. Oh, it's not working. This detection thing. Oh, yeah, it is actually. You have to hold L1 first. If you hold L1, then lean. The <laughs> That's. I may as well just use my foam stick, look, like that, instead of having to go. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll just use the thumb stick. No worries. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. And I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. I'll catch up with him. Alright, so we need to look for Samuels now. We've spoke to Taylor. What are these things? So we got Compound B, Scrap. Let's take it all, I guess. I guess you can craft things in this game to help you out with him um, in the future when we actually engage the alien. Samuels. Where is Samuels? He says, she said he's probably been up for hours, but didn't say where he might be. So, um, just gotta... Oh, there's a guy there. There he is. Here's Samuels. Hey. Ah, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. 
I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo? Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. We talked. She seems nervous. Hmm. I hadn't noticed. She's a skilled executive, though. Should help us with any legal issues we might encounter. Alright. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sebastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Alright, the bridge is um, like the cockpit, if you like, isn't it? The driver's seat. Or no, the bridge is the meeting room, isn't it? Like, with a center point. I don't know a lot about ships. <laughs> I'm just gonna follow this guy, because she called for all of us, of Samuels. He knows where he's going. I'm thinking as well, guys, I might turn off the um, noise detection, because if I'm talking to you guys, just to explain, I don't want to be like, coming in like this to whisper, to make sure that we don't get seen, you know? Because that'll still make noises. And um, it won't be good. Right, we're at the bridge. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sebastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sebastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Who's talking over there? It's just in a voice. I doesn't even see him. So, um, what was that? Get our documents, was it? If we got a seat to go to. Which one? Where do we sit? Near the front? Here we go. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Marshal, this is the Torrens. Say again. The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Depressurizer. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shadow me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Fuck happened here? My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Taylor. <laughs> Just keep moving! <laughs> Taylor, oh, respond! Shit. Anybody! 
It's like my worst fear. <laughs> Just being in space on your own. No way. So I don't think Taylor and Matthew, um, is it Matthews? I can almost forget the guy's name. Find help, yeah. Close, open, is this the door? What does that do? It opens the suit door. So we're taking our suit off, I guess. We don't need it right now. There we go, so the suit's away. We can't access it again, so I guess that's what we were meant to do. Get a bit more freedom. So here we go. After um, guys, I just unplugged the um, camera as well because I don't think that's going to be a thing that's going to be any good. Simply because of um, it's very sensitive the PlayStation camera generally anyway. I don't think it can change it. I'm sitting quite close to it, so it'll just pick up anything that I make. So it's, it's not even going to be fun. So use registration points to manually save your progress. They will warn you if enemies are nearby. All right, so we're looking for help. It's, okay, we can sprint now. That's good. I guess we'll need that. What's circle do? Don't even know what that is. Triangle X. So R three crouch. Here we go. Just getting a feel for the controls. I guess the game will tell us at some point. Oh. <laughs> when it goes dark and this, it literally is black. That's actually really good. All right. So the, the ship saying talking away. So we came in on, on like on the left hand side it kind of seemed the entrance so they're going to have a be still outside or near the right and this is the right side Shit. um can we go around this can we move it doesn't look like we can even access that point so let's go a different way what's this oh that opened climb all right, let's go in here. <coughs> so far, so good. The game looks um, pretty to some degree, and um, it's the lighting effects are very nice. Get back up. Nope, it looks like we're going this way then. We've got a health bar on the bottom left there. Looks like we lost some health. There's a flare. How do you access stuff there? This will help. So hold circle to open up your radial infantry. Use the left stick. So there we go. Once we get more items, we can select it with the left stick. And how do you use the flare? Press square to activate. I guess that's how you do it. Don't need to use it just yet though. I guess it can be used as a distraction as well as seeing in the dark. Maybe. Oh my god, just writing on the wall, this doesn't look good. What does that say? Let's make our way up there, see what it says. Someone new. You always know. You always know working Joe. Okay. Can't really read that, it's too close. Strange will be. Strangers will be. S shot? Yeah. Okay. Move, keep. Was that moving? I guess it's keep it above it. Keep moving. Yep. 
Let's see what it says. So I don't really we're not actually trying to get anywhere, we're just looking for help right now. Any human contact that could possibly help us. Turn off, don't want any distraction noises coming towards us. There's a thing up there, maybe we can call out some help here. The sprint's actually quite slow. Use, t use these terminals to update your map with unexplored areas. Use touchpad button to open the map. What is it this you use? Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Um, um. I didn't mean to do that. That's a waste, isn't it? The, gen the normal button for games is e square to access stuff, and I pressed it, and that's the flare button. So mash this button. And again. And again. Alright, I just I think I just restored <laughs> People. Hey! I'm going, I'm going. One sec before we carry on. What else can you do here? So it looks like you'd actually use it as well as like look at folders. Yeah, so there's audio and there's utility there. Literally, you can power things. So I turn the power on there. So there's people just run across. We can save the game here as well. I think, guys, we're going to end this video here actually. Now that we've actually achieved a little bit of something, we turned some power on. So we'll chase after those people and hopefully they can help us out in the next video, so thanks for watching guys, see you guys in the next video, bye!